Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at a nice little trading card collection. I ordered this off of eBay. Uh, I had these cards as a kid. And yes, that is a card going behind me. I'm going to raise this up just a little bit. There we go. And yes, I do already have them in the binder, ready to be shown. Now let's raise it up just a little bit more. There we go. So, like I said, I had these cards as, as a kid. Growing up in the 90s, I really liked them. Um, this is going to be a two-part video. The first one, first part is going to be of the Spider-Man trading cards. Uh, like I said, I really like these. Uh, some of the cards uh, go together like a puzzle, like you see here. Uh, you have wall crawling power, web shooting power, web slinging powers, spider tracker, spider agility, spider signal, spider strength, spider leap, and spider sense all forming together to make a nice little picture um, <clears throat> now the first few pages go along like that and the backs have nice description this is how I learned a lot about spider-man because I wasn't really into comics in the early 90s when these came out but I really liked the trading cards because they gave you a lot of information about the characters. And this was the first time I had even heard of Venom. As you can see here, vulnerable to Sonics, web shooting, spider agility, living costume, disguise, fearsome, vulnerable to fire, immune to spider sense, and super strength. And I really love the artwork on these things. Uh, this is the best time uh, for Spider-Man comics and for Venom comics. Uh, the best artwork style. Uh, it, in my personal opinion, it's kind of gone downhill since the early 90s. Uh, this was, in my personal opinion, the best art style for Spider-Man. Uh, you have here the black suit. Captain Universe, Spider Lizard, Man Spider, Extra Arms, Spider Clone, the first appearance of Ben Riley, uh, Spider Hulk, Doppelganger, and Shrinking Spidey. And that's a nice little puzzle piece, puzzle page too. Uh, another puzzle page, you have the Tarantula. Spider Slayers, the Jackal, Puma. Uh, Puma was one of many who would oftentimes ally with Spider-Man. Um, same with Cardiac. Uh, they were on again, off again, enemies slash allies. Uh, Spider-Man, Cardiac, Chance, uh, Sticks and Stone, and then Tombstone. Another nice uh, puzzle piece page. You have Sandstorm, Demogoblin, Silvermane, Hammerhead, Spider-Man, Man-Wolf, Warrant, Blood Rose, and Calypso. Then we have the Green Goblin, Spider-Man, the Jury, uh, which really made it big in the Venom comics, uh, Venom Lethal Protector. Uh, we have Carry On, Vermin, Shocker, Kingpin, Sin Eater, and Rhino. Uh, Carry On really had a big role in the Maximum Carnage series, along with, along with Shriek, Doppelganger, and of course Carnage. We have The Beetle, Solo. Uh, Solo was, was one of those that was... And on again, off again, enemy slash ally. Same with Craven. 
Uh, we got Boomerang, Hydro Man, Scorpion, Speed Demon, Craven, Spider Man, and Chameleon. I've always liked this puzzle page. Love the spider web behind them. Uh, Dr. Octopus, Vulture, Carnage, Venom, Spider Man, Electro, uh, Lizard, Hobgoblin, and Mysterio. Uh, like I said, the best time for Spider-Man's art style was the early 90s. Um, ever since then, they either make him way too skinny or way too muscular looking. Uh, this, he's got more of that gymnast type look to him. And we have allies, the Black Cat, Night Watch, Spider-Man, Sandman, Molten Man, which once again, Molten Man was oftentimes an enemy and ally. Same with Sandman and the Prowler. Uh, you have Cloak and Dagger, Silver Sable, and Annex. Uh, Night Watch was kind of a, um, kind of a spawn type character. Uh, if you mixed Spawn with, um, say, Iron Man uh, and Booster Gold. Um, very strange character because he got caught in a time warp. Let's do the time warp again. <laughs> um, and that's his his origin and history it's like a five issue miniseries um he found this costume from the future and begins fighting crime as night watch and then later on he ends up traveling to the past where it starts all back over again uh, so, very weird, and I'm not sure exactly where um, Maximum Carnage fits into that miniseries. Uh, because, like I said, it's only like five issues long or something like that. I used to have it, um, but it went the same way as some of my other comics. So We have team-ups, Spider-Man and Wolverine. Uh, Spidey's Greatest Team-Ups, uh, Spider-Man and Daredevil, Spider-Man and the Punisher, uh, Spider-Man and the Avengers, uh, Spider-Man teaming up with Green Goblin, uh, Spider-Man and Ghost Rider, Spider-Man and the X-Men, Spider-Man and Venom, and Spider-Man and Captain America. Pretty cool. Uh, we have here... Some more team of Spider Man and Doctor Strange, Spider Man and Silver Sable, Spider Man and the Human Torch, Spider Man and Nova, Spider Man and the New Warriors, the same team which caused Civil War, Spider Man and Dark Hawk, Spider Man versus Venom, Spider Man versus Carnage, Spider Man versus Hobgoblin. Uh, Spider-Man vs. Green Goblin, Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock, Spider-Man vs. Lizard, Spider-Man vs. Fire Lord, Spider-Man vs. Silver Surfer, Spider-Man vs. Tombstone, Spider-Man vs. Rhino, Spider-Man vs. The Hulk, Spider-Man vs. Electro, uh, Spider-Man vs. Kraven, Spider-Man vs. Mysterio, Spider-Man vs. Kingpin, Spider-Man vs. The Vulture, uh, vs. Doctor Doom, vs. Puma, Versus Black Cat versus Juggernaut versus Vermin uh, versus Scorpion uh, versus Red Skull versus Sabretooth versus Morbius. Then we have Spider Man's friends Mary Jane, Flash Thompson, J. Jonah Jameson, Aunt May, Joe Robbie Robertson, Peter Parker. Uh, the origin of Spider-Man. Um, here we have him getting bitten by a radioactive spider. Uh, him as a pro wrestler. 
the mugger he let escape, him battling the mugger and visiting Uncle Ben's grave. Uh, we have Maximum Carnage in events, uh, Round Robin, uh, Return of the Sinister Six, uh, Revenge of the Sinister Six, The Child Within, Spirits of Venom, which I have that graphic novel. Pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, Fearful Symmetry, where it's Spider-Man in the black costume against Kraven. Uh, assassination Plot. Uh, Spider-Man, Captain America, and Silver Sable against Sabretooth and the Red Skull, looks like. Uh, Death of Gwen Stacy. The Wedding of Sp uh, Peter and Mary Jane. Invasion of the Spider Slayers. The Osborne Legacy. Um, we have The Return of Peter Parker's Parents. The Black Costume Saga. Return of the Burglar. Uh, funeral Arrangements. And Eye of the Puma. And here's the... Uh, all the cards in the series. Uh, the only ones... The only ones I don't have are the transparent, the transparent ones that, um, like that Spider-Man. There is one with just that Spider-Man on it, uh, transparent background. Uh, there was one with Venom, stuff like that. I used to have them, but they weren't in this collection. And as you can see down at the bottom, in our next video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Jim Lee x-men trading cards so make sure you tune in for that hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give us a thumbs up leave a comment down below and let me know if you had these cards growing up and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you stay up to date on all things geek culture i'm shannon for come again tv the only place on youtube where all geek culture collides take care geeks If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.